back to another one. I'll turn off the old quad here. Been a while since you guys have seen the old quad, but here we are. We are right by a little creek. Thank you guys might have seen this creek one other time and it was for a turkey hunt last year. Morel mushroom hunting. I've never done it. I think I've like picked a couple out of the ground years and years ago when I just had stumbled across them and really didn't know what they were. But in the last few years, I've been telling myself, Bobby, 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 you got to go morel mushroom hunting, man. Last year, I didn't get to do it. I didn't get to get out and go do it. But this year, the weather has been perfect for it. We've had on and off rain, but a lot of fog in the morning. So I think the fog in the mornings, and then it's warming up to 70, 75 degrees during the day, which today we do have a north wind, so it's a little chillier. Long story short, I have looked everywhere for morel mushrooms. And I have a couple buddies that's been finding them. I'm like, where are you finding them at? It seems like nobody can find them. And they're like, Bob, it's dry. If you can tell, it's dry out. They said, Bobby, you gotta get beside creeks, running water, ponds. So that's what I did. And before I opened the video, I ran out here real quick to see if my theory was right. Cause this should be one of the uh, best spots. I was like, man, it's got a little creek back here. Got a lot of trees around it. And look at this. I was walking up in here, check this out. This is a little raccoons, little possum tree or something. Look, it got some scat there on the ground. And then I was like, oh, let's look closer to the water and look at this. It was the first ones I spotted. Check it out. There are two right there. Now, I don't know what it means by the top is getting a little brown, but that is a morel mushroom, y'all. And there's one, and there's one. But check it out. They're literally right beside the water's edge. And here's just a little patch of them that I found, and they're all together. First time doing this, y'all, and uh, literally the only ones I found this whole year are literally right beside the water. So I've been thinking about doing a morel mushroom hunt, and today is the perfect day. I got this little idea in this little spot in my head. I'm like, I gotta try it. So, turns out we're gonna find them. So we're gonna search this entire bank of this creek today, right now, and see how much we can find. If you guys morel mushroom hunt, if you have some go-to spots, what's the, the conditions that you're looking for, you know? I know you're looking for humid, you know, woodsy conditions, but right now we have not been very humid. That's a thing. I think that's why you gotta get beside the running water in the creeks. Check it out. First ones we found of the day. Look how big, I have huge hands by the way. Look how big these are, guys. I mean, absolutely huge. Look at that one. Massive. Holy cow. So, luck is paying off. I, uh, I was really skeptical of this spot because I've never done this. We're going to keep journeying here, see how much we can find, because this is, this is awesome. These suckers are going to be delicious. Before we move on, comment down below. What's some of your guys' best recipes for morel mushrooms? I was thinking like saute them with some shrimp or something what do you guys prefer no uh we got a beaver problem back here on the creek gonna have to call old flair and tell him to bring the traps out <laughs> but this is beautiful back here searching still along the banks haven't had any more luck here man it gets pretty thick in there the wind is horrible so i'm trying to stay out of the wind as much as possible oh well i have literally hiked so far back in here it's thick. Once you're back here, it's not bad, but it is thick getting back here and staying right next to the creek here. It's not bad, but to get out, it gets really thick. So this is where I'm looking. It's just all along this creek here. I figured that there would be a lot more. It's crazy that the first spot I looked had them and now we're just fighting to find them. Look at that, a little bit of gnawing going on there. Last time, they were right beside a tree that the critters liked. So, can't believe that they've only been, in, I've, I've literally searched quite a bit now. Can't believe they've been in one spot. I don't get it. If I'm missing something and you guys are way smarter than me at this, tell me what I'm doing down in the comment section below. Tell me what I'm doing wrong and what I need to be doing so I can find these things a lot easier. 
I have never explored this area before. I keep finding remnants that people are out here quite a bit. Tell me how creepy that is. Just walked up and seen that thing. <laughs> Ew. Whatever this is, like a really old antique like wagon of some sort, trailer, implement, old farm implement of some sort. What I heard and what I read was, if you find trees with like fungus growing up them, um, other types of mushrooms in the area, that area should be a good area that will produce morels because it is a fungus, just like a normal mushroom. So, also finding out the more back here out of the wind, I think that's kind of the key too. The wind gets rid of the humidity in these dense wooded areas. So, look at this, check it out. One, two, three, a baby one, and four. Again, you guys got to comment down below, are these good to eat? They got a little brown on the top, a little crispy on top, not too bad. Still really moist. Look at that, got one right there. Oh yeah, oh that one broke, darn it. Oh yes. We are stacking them up boys, and gals, and gals. I know there's probably some gals watching. Shout out to all the outdoorsy gals out there, how you doing? can't believe I walked right by them but as I was just saying gonna head back to where we came from sure enough boom there they are can't believe I walked right by them I got to get these things stamped in my eyesight so I can see them easier check this out so earlier we seen all the beaver markings and chewed up trees check it out here's their dam here holy smokes they got it pretty much locked off right there Wow. So this property is actually um, the farmer that I have full permission to waterfowl hunt on. And I don't know why I've never duck hunted back here, but I should. I think we will this coming season for sure. But uh, I might have to get rid of that beaver dam for him. I'm going to have to give him a call. His crop field is right here. So if this thing was to flood, you know, and say he just planted the crop, and it might flood due to the beaver dam. Wouldn't be a good deal, would it? So, I better give him a shout and tell him what's going on. Yeah, look at that. Dead armadillo, he's been there a while. He don't smell too good either. I have literally walked way back here and I'm glad I did because this creek just gets juicier and juicier. I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of duck hunts on the fields that surround this creek. And I've always wanted to find a good place to, uh, to hunt this creek, so. Duck hunts on the old creek here. Woo! I cannot wait for that. It's gonna be epic. Plus, we should have a dog by then. So the old creek won't be so bad picking up birds. But if you guys are just as ready as I am for duck season, smash that thumbs up button for your boy. But been out here searching and searching. I think there's a little too much ground cover we got going on here because I'll tell you, I haven't found anything else. Literally the only ones that I found is like when you find one, there's three right by it. It's not like one by itself over here and then one over there. It's usually if you spot one, there's going to be three or four to group together and then that's it. If you have got into them really good before, drop a comment down below and let us all know how much you found. Because I'll tell you what, I've always wanted to do it. I've always heard a lot of people talking about it. But I'll tell you what, either I'm not good at it or the conditions just aren't favorable right now. Well, I think this is about all we're going to find today. Oh, the wind's picking up. The audio is just going to keep getting worse, but we're going to head home and uh, I'm going to see how the wife wants to cook these bad boys up. I think she's cooked them before, so I got to ask her how she wants them made. But uh, again, if you guys have special morel recipes, drop them down below because I'd love to try them. Oh, well, back here at the house and... Uh, it's a couple days later. I messed up big time, guys. That's the first time I've ever went morel mushroom hunting, and I messed up. So it is two days later since we picked the mushrooms, and I left them in the bag. Yeah. I left them in the bag, and they ended up molding really bad. So now I know whenever you bring your mushrooms home, pull them out of your bag, lay them out, and let them dry. Yeah, I, uh, I told my wife, I was like, hey, hey babe, we're going to make some mushrooms today. She pulled them out of the back. She's like, uh, I'm not touching those, Bobby. Those are disgusting. They were covered in mold pretty bad. 
I get that mushrooms are a fungus and that mold is a fungus, but when you see visible furry mold growing because they've been in that moist bag, we here at the guy house probably aren't going to eat those. So the wife done pitched them. But I have something extra, extra exciting to show you guys. I told you, you guys suggested some awesome, awesome air rifles for me to buy. Oh, check it out. We got the Umarex Gauntlet. Isn't she beautiful? This gun, all you guys that recommended it, thank you so much. I actually appreciate it a ton. I asked you guys what gun should I get, and there was a handful of you, if not probably 10 or 12 of you, that said, Bobby, you have to get the Umarex Gauntlet. One of the main reasons I say thank you is because a lot of my avid viewers, y'all know I like to save the change. You gotta save that butter if you can. That bad boy was only $2.99. Now, now, this here pump here, this is what you pump it up with. That bad boy was like $159. Bucks. I actually bought a scope for it. It doesn't come with a scope. I bought a scope from Walmart, an expensive one. Turns out, the scope rings, the clamp, it's too big for the rail. That's on the gauntlet. I need you guys to help yet again. What scope do I need to buy for this thing? What scope will mount up to it? Or should I just buy new clamps, scope clamps for the scope that I purchased? Because it's a good one. It's a high powered one. So please let me know down below if you have any mushroom prepping tips for me. I have a recipe I wanted to try. And it's actually pretty cool right now. It's like 59 degrees out. So... I think morel mushroom weather is going to stick around a little bit, so we're probably going to go do a couple more of them. And if you guys are ready for the old Umarex to take action to the starlings, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. But check out our ducks tank tops. Look at them bad boys. It's a little cool for me to have it on. I thought it was going to be a little warmer out. Oh well, it's supposed to hit like 75 degrees today. But if you guys want to grab a ducks tank top, I will link them down in the description below. But I am done blabbing for the day here. Thank you all for being here. Yet again, it's always fun. We will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.